Hey YouTube. In this video what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a look at uh, this drawing here and this reference photo and see if there are some things that we can do to bring this up a little bit more. Stay tuned. This photo was uploaded to my Ricks Can Do It Realistic Drawing Group on Facebook. Uh, there's details in the description below as far as uh, joining. And uh, this was the drawing that was uploaded of the reference you see here. So we're going to take a look at these two. And what I'm going to do is kind of a quick critique on this thing and, and offer some tips as to how we could you know, bring this out a little bit more. Now, at first glance, if you look at the two together, I ask the question, do they look the same? Now, obviously, if you looked really quick, no, they don't look the same. This person has a darker face. This person has a very light face. So there's one area right there where we can really improve on the drawing. It's a good drawing. Don't get me wrong. It's a good drawing. But we can bring it out. We can make this darker. The overall shade needs to be darker. And then we need to darken these areas right here. And right here. See her cheek? See where he has the shading down here? It's made her cheek kind of longer than normal. It's really extending down. We want to cause the cheek to have a little bit more fullness to it bringing it up a little higher here and that means we're going to need to shade this up and over underneath the lips we can see in this area right here we're going to need to definitely go darker in here and these are areas that we can improve on now the thing is is that this is a printout. This is not the original drawing. This is a printout of the drawing, which means I can't make changes to what's already here. And whatever I put on here, of course, isn't really going to be as good as it can be because of the fact that this is copier paper from my printer rather than drawing paper. It's smoother, it's slicker, which means it won't hold as much graphite for one. But let's see what we can do with this. Uh, and I'm going to point some things out, some obvious things right off the bat that really needs attention that would really help. Number one, if you'll take a look at the irises here of the eye. Well, this is an area where we can improve on really quick because it's very light in here, but it's, she's got very dark eyes. And we certainly don't want to take away from her eyes. So the first thing we can do is we can darken in those eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do that with this 9XB pencil and see how much it will actually take on this paper here. It won't, it won't be as crisp as it could be, but you know, we'll, we'll, get it, we'll get it as much as we can. One eye right there, bring that out. And then, of course, we have the other one here. We're going to need to bring that one out, too. And you'll notice, see, the highlights here don't match. It's a good idea to draw exactly what you see in the photograph. Don't Try not to reinvent things. Um, sometimes you can move your highlight if it make it look better. Like, sometimes the highlight might be in an area that makes it look funny as a drawing. You can certainly uh, change that. But in this case here, it's just the highlight isn't drawn in exactly as shown. We definitely want that. So let's just squeak that in there. You can probably hear my 9XXB pencil there squeaking away. And that's because of the paper, for one. I'm going to get that all nice and solid black there. Okay. And then she has some shading on the bottom part of the highlight right here. I'm just going to lightly 
shade the bottom half and leave the top half nice and bright and I'm going to make it nice and crisp on the sides there okay and then there's supposed to be a highlight right there that isn't really in the drawing and I can't erase anything that's printed out so we're gonna just we're gonna just leave it like that okay um, now there may be also an issue here as far as the um, the size I'm, I'm seeing a size here that's different than here if you'll notice her eye right here uh, let me just scan in here so you can see this notice that this part of the eye right here falls directly below the peak of the arch here the upper eyelid Do you see that then you come over here and you'll notice that you don't have that okay so you have to have let's get that in there it is I was going wait a minute that eye looks funny there it is so let me do this again okay you see that is right underneath right underneath and then over here there's the arch of the eye but there's nothing there it should be way over here so I'm gonna to try to do that because you don't want to make her eye smaller than it really is and you also notice that he's got the white of the eye going all the way under whereas here it's not you can see that the iris is underneath the bottom eyelid so you want to pay attention to detail so let's get that drawn in there and because of that I think I might be able to get me a highlight in there that should be in there in the first place okay all right so it's not perfect but as long as you get the idea so I'm, I'm kind of rushing here rushing through this so give me some leeway all right there we go okay so we're a little more matched and that's important and also you can see that everything else has to be uh, in, in um, proportion too right here it comes down and makes this loop but here the loop happens way too soon it should come down to here then a loop up to here that's where it should go right there and that's how her eyes look now look at this as negative space you can squint your eyes and whatever and see this half moon shape here and that's what you want here is you want to, to get that half moon shape going in there so let me see by just shading this in here that we can achieve some of that half moon shapey thing okay as best we can okay and then I'm going to go underneath here and I think I got it all right so there we go so we'll do that okay and so now we're mimicking the eye a little bit more there okay and of course under her eye here let's get that coming in here a little bit more all right now I'm going to get to some other stuff here let's see same thing with this eye right here and this eye right here if you'll take a look at this eye real carefully now let me bring it in it comes in here and then it and then it comes and it does this little thing in the eye duct see this so it flares up like a cup or a glass and then it does this little nipple thing here okay I guess that's the best way to say it but if you look here you're a complete almond here so this really should go up like so see if I can get them both in there at the same time I'll pull back so you want that you want that nipple looking right here and then you want to start to draw that eye like so and in here the same 
you got that, and then you got to go here. Now, notice he's got eyelashes drawn in here, but I don't see eyelashes here. And I would recommend not drawing in something that you don't see just because you know it's there or you assume it's there. Now, I don't know who this young lady is, maybe it's wife or sister or something, but um, you may be familiar with your subject, but you want to make sure that you are drawing exactly what you see, not what you know. Okay, and the, this area here, if you look at the white, look at the white of the eye, very small, a whole lot over here, make them match. So I'm going to come in here, kind of narrow that puppy down. And another thing too, is eyes should never be white. They never white. There are no such thing as white eyes. So shade those little puppies down. Same here. Let me get a different pencil here. But you want to, uh, this is a 10B. I'm going to try to go as real light as possible here with this 10B. Because I don't have a whole lot of pencils on my desk here. Then we're going to just take this Q-tip and I'm just going to blend it out to the rest of the eye. Okay, and then I'm going to just lighten it up a little bit with my blue tack or kneaded eraser here. And it's going to be lighter around the iris, and then it will darken as it heads towards the, the outer edge, because it's an eyeball. So it's round. You don't want to forget that it's round. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're you're doing this. Okay, I'll just lighten that a little bit more there. And then I notice she has a little lightness right here as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll lighten that up right in there like so. Okay. All right. Okay, so you want to do that. And then that will also look better when you get darker on the outside. So let's, let's go ahead and start that. I know this eye also needs to be done, but we'll just leave that for now. Okay, so one of the things I was bringing out is this cheek. If you'll notice here on the cheek, okay, this is the highlight area, you might say, but it's really not highlight. It's, it's just a mid-tone. You have this mid-tone. It's kind of like a triangle right here. But here you have all this highlight going like this. This is a way like a big old thing. So you don't want that. So you definitely want to, and I'm going to try to see if I can get this 9XXB to play nice here on this uh, paper. Well, let's get some of the dark area here and then I'll blend it into the lighter area. And let's see what we can do with that, okay? So let me just get this in here like so. But now what I need to do is I need to blend and then bring that blending into that lit, lit area because you don't want that lit like this. You want it toned down. So we're going to take it from the dark. It only blends so well on this paper, unfortunately. We want to take from the dark and we want to move it into the light. So let's see how much of this we can do with just this material alone. Okay, let me try with this 10XXB here, I mean this 10B. Graphite tends to blend really well, although I don't know about this paper, but let me just go over this 9XXB here with some graphite. See if that will help, and if that doesn't, I'll grab some graphite powder and do it that way. That should help me um, demonstrate on this paper here. Of course, even if I had the drawing, I really couldn't take liberties on somebody's drawings or drawing all over it, especially when I'm in a hurry. So, you 
Yeah, let me grab some powder. I'm going to do this a lot quicker. Yeah. It's an easy way to demonstrate here on this paper is using this powder. This is good. Okay. So you can see I'm going in the dark area first because then I'm going to want to push into the lighter area and I'm going to want it to fade out a little bit. Go over everything I already did with that 9XXB since I don't like that 9XXB on here. Didn't work that well. Okay. Make sure I'm nice and light here. Okay, this area here you can see is darker. So I'm going to definitely get that in there darker. Okay. Right there, that looks good there, and then it lightens up as it moves away. So you want to, you want to watch for that. I'm also noticing the direction that everything is going here. Kind of goes down like so. Let's get underneath there. Okay, might as well get, get all the way around here, bring that eye out more. Okay. You take your, you take your little kneaded eraser or a nice little chamois would work really good too. But you can start dabbing this up real gently like and make sure that you're getting that that light mid-tone uh, shape that she has on her face there. Okay. So we'll do this and then we will re-blend with a clean Q, but I'm making sure that I'm getting that shape that she has right there, that shape. I want that shape so that I'm highlighting her cheekbones correctly. Okay, it's starting to look really good here. I'm really liking this. So I'm going to use this clean end here and I'm going to Diffuse all them dots that I just put in there. Trying not to spread any more darkness in here, except at the edges where I need to diffuse a little bit. I'm gonna come in here like so. Okay. Go ahead and finish the nostrils here. That comes up like so. So it always improves a drawing when you get that darkness in the way it's supposed to be. You notice that we have it lighter here, so I'm going to lighten that up and find that shape, and I'm going to start going like this just to kind of draw that shape in there okay don't worry about all the little dots and stuff that is produced sometimes I'll even add to the texture when you start blending but I'm just gonna lighten that up just take some of that material off and I'll use the clean side of my q-tip or get another one 
and I'll blend that out. Okay, let's see where else we have. We have here. Okay, we're too thick here, too dark. Lighten that up. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to get that chamois. Because that's going to help me speed things up a little bit. All right, get me a little chamois here. Chamois acts a lot like an eraser. So I come in here like this, and you'll see that I'm going to instantly, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I love this chamois. Here we go. You can lighten up going into the dark there. See? Like that. Okay. That's what you want to do. Okay? And we can go darker. We can go much darker here. Let me get my Q-tip. So you want contrast? Put some contrast in there. Don't be afraid to go dark, especially if that's what you see on the photo. Okay, go dark. Everything here should be darker. Get a little more darkness on those lips. Upper lip especially needs to get darker, much darker. Upper lips are usually darker than lower lips and in this photo it's the same. And then this part of her upper lip is lighter than that part so definitely keep that in mind. Kind of going quick here. So don't look for perfection in my drawing here or my correction. Proportions are a little off, but nothing we can do about that. Something to watch when you're starting your drawing. side of the nose here, you'll notice that it's going to be darker. Kind of loops underneath there like so. Okay, then we'll kind of blend that out a little bit so it's not so pronounced. Okay. Okay. Right here in the side of the nose, much darker than I can get with that that um, powder. So I'm just going to come in here with this 9XXB and kind of draw that in a little bit.
just hoping to do enough that I can show you the big difference of going darker will do. Kind of wish I didn't use that 9XXB here in the first place because it didn't do well on this paper. Just take a look at that reference at the eye, the eye area. And then you take a look at this drawing here in the eye area. And you'll see that it's starting to look very, very familiar. It's like I'm looking at the same person now. That's her eye. See if I can get that a little darker, probably not. Nope. Eyeball looks bigger. It's another thing too. Eyeball should be bigger. crease needs to be darker. So we need that area darker. This is not taking this pencil very well. But when you make a crease, by the way, you know you got the dark part. That's the line here, the dark line. And then as you come out, you lighten up as you go up and over, up and over, just kind of lighten your pencil or you can do this with a uh, paper blender or you can do this with a um, tortillion tortillon however that's pronounced and same for coming out the opposite direction you know you just kind of blend out lightly so you don't have a harsh line but you have more of a crease And just kind of blend it out. Notice in the camera I have this graphite reflection thing here. So I'm going to kind of get out of the light a little bit. But if you take a look at her eye right there, and then you look at her eye right there. So you can see that we've made some adjustments. Uh, there are other things that I won't be able to do. For example, um, the shape of the eye is different. Um, this shape here is too wide, uh, should be narrow. Um, it break dances real sooner, like down to here. Then comes around to here. So we had to add this teardrop, remember? That wasn't in there. So we get that in there. But yeah, you want to bring this out darker. Much, much darker. Leave them down below in the uh, comment area. And again, uh, you can check out the uh, Rick's Can Do It uh, Realistic Drawing Group on Facebook. The details are also down below in the description area. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.